Welcome back to the Transportation Half Cent Sales Tax Program. As we've said before, this program is all about how your tax dollars are being spent on improving road systems in our community in Charleston County, and a lot of work is being done. We wanted you to hear more about technology and the fact that, yes, we're in the technological stage like everyone else, and I've uh, been talking to some gentlemen who are in charge of this kind of work, and I have someone else for you to meet. He is Chris Wood, and he is responsible for something called construction, engineering, and inspection. Inspection. And that's a long acronym, and you'll have to tell us what that means. But I want us to go into, too, Chris, what's being done with pipelines that are being put into these various projects. And we see a lot of pipe being laid and wonder sometimes now, is this going to stand up against this or the other thing? And we want you to tell us how that works. But first of all, what is a CEI, Construction Engineer and Inspector? Well, an inspector would be uh, someone who witnesses things that happen in the field and they typically would document uh, issues or bring issues to the attention of the contractor or the management forces, uh, the client, uh, so that everyone was informed of uh, the construction processes that were occurring in the field. Um, it's important to document those sure. things so that when you go back and uh, need to know how something was built, that, it, that that process was recorded. The technology that we're going to be talking about today uh, comes down from the South Carolina Department of Transportation in some form or another. I imagine a lot of this requirement, a lot of the requirements for building roads comes from them. But what does the South Carolina Department of Transportation have to say about ensuring that pipes are in good shape but before and after they're laid under the ground? Right. Well. I believe it was in the year of 2007, the DOT implemented a new pipe specification um, which required uh, the videoing and lasering and inspection of uh, installed pipe. And they set the specifications up primarily for three types of materials. That's reinforced concrete pipe, uh, high density polyethylene pipe, and smooth wall corrugated aluminum pipe. And their specifications for the installation process uh, to place this uh, in the ground uh, to handle drainage uh, from the roadway. Um, in the inspection process, uh, there's equipment that you use to place down into the pipe once it's installed and you send this piece of equipment down from structure to structure to record the, the situation and the condition of the pipe. It looks like a little robot to me almost, but it's being governed or being controlled from where? From, well, we have it installed in a, in a trailer uh, with a computer set up uh, to where uh, an operator can uh, place the tractor, so we call it, uh, mm. down in, in the pipe and move it forward to the uh, critical points of uh, where a pipe, one pipe joins to another, and he can video that joint and measure the distance between that joint to make sure it falls within spec. How wide is the average pipe that's laid in one of these projects? Well, it, it varies uh, depending on the size of the roadway and the size of the drainage uh, that it's handling, but a typical a DOT project, you'll see pipe ranges anywhere from minimum being approximately 18 inches up to uh, 36, even 48 inches in diameter. Let's help people remember what projects we've been talking about uh, that has utilized this technology. Uh, you've worked on a couple of them. Name them so that everybody's familiar with the fact that those projects have utilized this kind of technology. That's right. The, the B and Courtney project had a good bit of uh, videoing that took place, and, and that was primarily because most of the drainage down on that project was a closed system drainage with an inlet structure and pipe that is subsurface and you cannot see the discharge point. Therefore, you had to place a piece of equipment in there and, and monitor it like that. 
and have there other, been other projects? And will all of the various projects that are opening up the ground and requiring piping, will all of them undergo this kind of process in some way or another? The, well, those implementing the DOT specifications for the 2007 installation of the pipe. So yes. So that those, includes most of them. Most of the DOT larger bonded projects, definitely. There are some smaller projects where you might have uh, driveway pipes in an open ditch line section that don't require this level of inspection. It can simply be witnessed uh, by eye inspection and survey uh, to confirm that it was installed properly and is in good condition. Is there some basic parameter that helps you judge whether or not that pipe is in the right place, that it has no holes or places where it can spill water into the earth as opposed to passing through the, the pipe? What is your bottom line? What is the baseline that you use? Well, the video of the pipe, and you can then go back and inspect for cracks uh, inside the pipe. You can, again, monitor the joints. Uh, that's a very critical part of installing pipe is getting a good tight seal on the joints. Um, also, it, it has a lasering, uh, profiling uh, quality in the inspection that uh, can tell you if you have enough fall in the pipe to, dr to make the water move in the proper direction. So that's leanage? Or that's right. Um, mm -hmm. And so you compare that, you enter the data into the system to know that what the plan grade, what the plans call for, and then you compare what the uh, tractor and the computer uh, determine it to be. And uh, determine if it's acceptable or not. We're, we're doing a lot of talking about all this technology and some of it might sound a little difficult to understand but we've got lots of pictures for you and they're probably looking at some of those right now and that little tractor I call it a robot but it's really a little tr tractor that you is that something new that's come out on? Now th th that technology has been around uh, I think a lot of municipalities used it uh, or more for sewer evaluations and things like that. Um, but with the South Carolina Department of Transportation drainage inspection, uh, it's new being in the last uh, four, four years, you know. All of the projects, there are about 12 bonded projects. We're every, it's wonderful, we're everywhere. And we're putting in new roads and we're putting in pedestrian walkways and bicycle paths and all of those things. And most projects require some kind of pipeline because we want the water and what have you to run underneath. Have you run into any problems uh, with the piping that's come to your attention? We have uh, discovered through the inspection of uh, you know unacceptable uh, pipe that had to be removed and reconstructed uh, during the, in our inspection process. So yes, we've discovered issues that, uh, which is the reasoning that we're performing our jobs and performing the inspection. So uh, normally though, uh, if things are done right on the front end, uh, you can pretty much construct 95% of a drainage project without having any major issues. Because but, the last thing we want to do is to have pipe that collapses underground or it's not sending the water through as it should because then you build up things on top of the earth like sinkholes and, and, that, and we don't want that and those are the kind of things you're trying to protect us from? That's right and one of the main safety issues on a roadway is proper drainage. Uh, if you've ever run across a standing water or a puddle on a roadway your, your car can uh, hydroplane or skid and so by having a properly functional drainage system, it ensures that uh, you have less chance of experiencing those conditions, you know. I'm just wondering, what was in place before this technology? Did you send a guy through uh, with a bathing suit on or something and he swam his way through or how did you do that? Well, you, you typically would inspect <laughs> as it was being installed and you would check the uh, joints the best you could as it was being installed and uh, you would survey the what they call the invert or the bottom of the pipe 
to, to make sure that it is flowing in the right direction and at, at the right grade. Uh, so there, it's not like it was uh, that we did not look at these things. It just was not to the depth that it is now. So, As an inspector, though, you keep your eyes on all of those things, don't you? We do. We're going to talk more about what goes on in this area of technology and underground piping and how it's protecting the work that we're doing uh, in the transportation sales tax program and wanting you to know that your investment uh, of tax dollars is being taken care of in a mighty way. We'll do that when we return.